Hey guys, so I want to do a quick comparison uh, review here with the uh, like entry level handsets that you can get with Android. These are uh, like from brands that you may not have heard of but bring very nice specifications to the table. Uh, we have got the uh, Verney Mars phone here on the left. This is a gold version. We do have the Apollo Light phone. Uh, which is also very nice you can see in black and we do have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 phone and also the Umi Plus which uh, recently released uh, which comes with like an iPhone like build so I wanted to compare here the uh, devices see which one gives you the best bang for buck because uh, they are coming in about the 200 euro mark most of them I think the Apollo Lite is a little bit cheaper uh, than uh, all of them. So first look, things first we can start with the the uh, This one. This is the Mars phone uh, And first things first what I did notice with the Mars was how thin it is. It feels absolutely luxurious really uh, When it comes to the actual build quality it is as thin as most flagship phones actually nowadays uh, You also get this uh, fingerprint scanner which is on the side of the device here. Maybe we can focus uh, and you can see that so it's quite an, an interesting place because Sony likes to put its scanners there as well. Uh, it's coming with a very uh, Nexus 6P kind of design here uh, and you're getting a Type C adapter down there with one speaker grill. I think uh, it does emit a decent sound. Uh, but not quite the level of the Nexus 6P. You also get a headphone jack, which is quite nice to see as well, uh, and a uh, LCD display here. Uh, the display is actually quite good here. It's I wouldn't say it's quite as bright as the one on the Apollo Light, uh, but you can see it's very uh, usable and visible. I think they could improve the oleophobic properties to keep the fingerprints off. You can see that they do show up quite a bit here. Uh, but generally, I think most people will be very happy with the display. You can see it's nearly right to the edge here, better than some Sony handsets which have been released. And all in all, it just feels like a fantastic overall phone. Uh, my only real uh, question, what I'd say is, you know, why did they go with the uh, slightly lesser kind of processor compared to the Apollo Light? phone this is coming with the helio x20 uh, which is a very competent processor about the level of the snapdragon 652 uh, and uh, you know it gives you fantastic performance overall uh, it's a little bit chunkier than the mars phone uh, but i think most people coming from like htc phones as well as uh, oneplus will feel right at home here it's got a very similar kind of build quality and you can see it's charcoal black and looks fantastic uh, with two speaker grills here type C again so you know that is quite nice uh, with a headphone jack as well as your power button uh, the fingerprint scanner is on the back with this one so quite convenient unless you have it on a desk which is quite annoying uh, but generally um, the, most, the thing that I'm most impressed with with this device I think is the actual display uh, which is like a curved glass here absolutely looks fantastic also the uh, brightness seems to be a little bit brighter than the Mars uh, phone so the actual colours in, in reproduction uh, absolutely magnificent with this one uh, you know really stunning in, you know when you consider the price uh, I think there's also a higher end model of the Apollo but this is the light version and you know you're getting a lot for your money here uh, I think the battery is quite good as well it's uh, quite a high uh, capacity it has the fast charging by the MediaTek Pump Express uh, and also most importantly 4 gigs of RAM and the Helio X20 so very uh, powerful phone the Apollo light next we do have the Redmi Note 4 this is from Xiaomi and we do like Xiaomi here so you can see uh, again we're getting a very metallic kind of design here a little bit wider than the Apollo light this one uh, and it's coming with I'd say a chamfered kind of design uh, which looks very nice on the edges here I'd knock some points off for having uh, no type C you know that's a little bit backwards here not sure why they've gone with that uh, but 
headphone jack in the right place which is good uh, you're getting your fingerprint scanner in the back and a much improved camera I have actually taken some shots with the the Redmi Note 4 and been very impressed with the improvements I will be doing a dedicated video checking that out uh, and in terms of the actual software here I think the Xiaomi is, is the nicest if we're to be honest uh, I think Xiaomi goes well beyond uh, you know where a lot of Android manufacturers making very nice uh, like it's, it's sort of like the LG G5 skin uh, but a little bit more refined and uh, colorful like for example when you're opening up stuff things change color here uh, and you get a lot of different settings that you can put on to you know improve the performance and customize things uh, it goes a little bit further I'd say than the other phones on the table here uh, if you're into your stock Android, you probably won't like this, but all the rest of you will enjoy the uh, customization you can do. Uh, the display is also very pastely, similar to how Xiaomi does like it. You know, very rich, saturated colors here, and that uh, is quite good. Uh, you do get a performance mode as well to improve the performance if you want to use that. It's coming with the Helio X20, similar to the Apollo. Uh, light phone so performance should be very good with this handset the only question mark I'd have over it is the future support I found that the uh, Xiaomi updates can be a little bit like uh, sporadic compared to sort of a lot of other manufacturers you might have to actually do it yourself a lot of the time and I've been struggling to get marshmallow on my Redmi Note 3 Pro so that's something to watch out for uh, also we have the Umi uh, Plus phone which recently released this is another kind of like iPhone built phone it looks like a Galaxy C5 or Galaxy C7 you know if you do enjoy that kind of build uh, you're coming with a uh, very nice uh, overall build quality this one has the fingerprint scanner on the front of the device so if you do like uh, you know using the fingerprint scanner on the front you will enjoy that uh, it's coming with a very good display as well you can see it gets quite bright here have we got it on the max brightness I think we have uh, not quite as bright as the Apollo light I'd say but still very bright uh, generally and it's coming with a very stock kind of interface here which you know uh, gets the job done in terms of the uh, performance uh, and uh, I think also uh, it's coming with the Helio uh, sorry the uh, MediaTek P10 processor which you know honestly I would like to have seen a X20 processor in this one as well but it doesn't really uh, handicap the device too much for day-to-day -day tasks you know, I think most people will be happy generally with the performance with this one. And uh, I think generally uh, it's a good all, all around device, you know, particularly if you're looking at an aesthetic standpoint over a performance standpoint. A lot of people will mistake this, I think, for, you know, an iPhone or, you know, a high end Samsung. So coming with Type C as well and two speaker ports, which is very good, and a headphone jack. Uh, so very nice phone here from Umi uh, which have been putting out some pretty awesome phones I think they all have some things in common really you know in terms of the software I think they pretty much all have the turbo download uh, like functionality which combines your 4G and Wi-Fi for a quick uh, transfer they all have uh, some customization in regards to navigation bar as well and you know some nice stuff built in there uh, and most importantly they also have uh, like an update area here uh, so you can continue to you know make sure that you're up to date and they're not just going to sell it to you and uh, you know forget about it which is good I think overall I do actually prefer the Apollo light phone which to me has a good mixture of uh, performance and like uh, build quality uh, and also it's uh, I think it's the cheapest as well out of these ones uh, I think this is absolutely marvelous phone the only real thing that I would say that they could improve on is the 
uh, lack of NFC. I, I can't see an NFC setting on there. And also there was a 4K ability when I got it, but they've got rid of that, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but other than that, this one seems to be amazing, really, uh, in terms of pretty much everything. Uh, I think uh, maybe in terms of the camera, the Mars is a little bit uh, stronger. Uh, probably they've had time to work on the actual camera experience a bit more. Uh, they all have, uh, you know, very decent cameras, but... Uh, I've not actually tested the Umi Pluses, but I've been quite happy with the the Mars's performance. Uh, I have tested the Redmi Note 4, and it's a certain improvement over the Redmi Note 3. Uh, so do stay tuned for when I check that out. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, what do you think? Do you think these phones are any good? Which one's your favourite? Uh, I hope uh, you find this helpful if you're looking at these handsets. I think they're very good buy for money and you know uh, proof that you don't have to spend a fortune to get a good performance and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one cheers